Well, uh, hey guys, I hope you're doing well. First of all, I would like to thank you for your incredible support. Thank you for every like, comment, and share. It is appreciated. Well, picture this. On one fine morning, you walk into your chicken house or chicken coop. Immediately you open the door, you notice that there are feathers scattered all over the floor. You panic and you start wondering, where are all these feathers coming from? Is it that uh, your chicken are infested with parasites? Are they infected or have they started pecking each other again? You even start imagining that probably there was an animal in the chicken house overnight. As all these questions are going through your mind, you notice that a few chickens have patches on their body. They are missing some feathers. Well, in the next few minutes, we are going to look at one of the most likely cause of this uh, feather loss in your chicken and what you can do about it. So don't go anywhere. Molding is quite common in chicken and it basically means, uh, I'd say molting is a process or a period when your chicken lose old and worn out feathers, then regrow new ones. Now, why, why, why do your chicken uh, go through molting? Why are they losing their feathers? The simple. Feathers are important for several reason, reasons. The main ones being feathers provide heat insulation. They help the chicken to keep themselves warm. Feathers protect the chicken's skin. And also, they are important for flight, especially the wings. Yeah, I know chickens do not fly as high as birds, but to some degree, they need feathers to jump onto patches and what have you. I've even heard of uh, stories where some chicken jump on top of trees. So by keeping these feathers in good condition, by renewing them, they can perform these functions of keeping themselves warm, protecting the skin, flying, and others without any problems. Now, typically, your chicken, and I'm talking about layer chicken, will start the first mold at 18 months of age, then continue to do so periodically until they reach the end of their laying life. And during molting, your laying hens will stop completely laying or will reduce the number of eggs uh, they lay. Why is this so? Eggs require energy and nutrients to form. During molting, most of these nutrients, and especially proteins and energy, are diverted to growing new feathers. Now, there are two types of uh, molting. And the first one is uh, soft molt. You know, soft. Soft molt is when your chicken are just losing some feathers. They have small patches on their body, or sometimes it is even unnoticeable. You can't notice. So a soft mold happens over time, but a hard mold is sudden, and this is when your chicken lose most of their feathers. Sometimes even the chicken are naked, or they have very visible patches of missing feathers. Now, what can you do to help your chicken go through the molting process comfortably 
and come out rejuvenated and more productive. One, simply improve their nutrition. Increase their protein content or uh, the amount of protein in their diet. Feathers are primarily made up of a protein called keratin. Do you know where else you can find keratin? Your hair and your nails. So by increasing the amount of protein in the diet, you're providing your chicken that are going through molting enough resources to regrow new feathers very quickly and go back to production or laying. Also, provide them with enough fatty acids and amino acids. Examples of sources uh, of fatty acids are uh, f uh, things like a fish meal, which is uh, rich in omega-3 fatty acids. We have uh, soybean meal and also uh, amino acid supplements. They are available like uh, methionine. Also provide your chicken with uh, vitamins. Vitamins are uh, found in most of the feed they uh, take. Uh, vegetables, fruits, and uh, vitamin supplements. You know, vitamins will help to boost the immunity because during molting, the immunity is slightly compromised. And also, they help to relieve stress. Molting is very stressful. And also, they will help to supplement nutritional deficiencies that might happen during molting. Also, provide enough calcium. Yeah, I know most people will argue that increased calcium is only beneficial to actively laying hens. But this is not the case. Calcium is also required by molting chicken so as to maintain the structure of their skeleton. It is also important for maintaining reserves so that they can be used when the chicken resume laying. And lastly, manage stress. Molting is very stressful to your chicken. That's why there are several things you can do to ensure that their stress levels are low, they go through the molting process very quickly and comfortably and come out rejuvenated. One, reduce handling of your chicken. During molting, don't handle them all the time. Just provide good nutrition, water, and supplementation. That's enough. Don't handle them too much. Improve their ventilation. This chicken need to be as comfortable as possible. So improving ventilation of your chicken house will ensure that they are okay. If there are overcrowding situations, solve that. Also, you might want to isolate those chickens that are severely affected by the molting process to prevent pecking by the other birds. You know, once birds, uh, chickens see an, a hen is missing a lot of feathers, they might want to peck that hen. This can lead to injury and further stress. Then, uh, of course, uh, by observing these practices you have mentioned above, which is proper nutrition and that involved, uh, involves uh, uh, adding protein to their diet, ETC, providing enough calcium, minimizing stress by way of improving ventilation, reducing handling, solving overcrowding, and others, you can be able to help your molting chicken go through, through the process comfortably and come out stronger and rejuvenated. So, once you notice that you are layer chicken or rather chicken are lacking feathers on their body, they have reduced or completely stopped laying, do not panic, do not worry. It is normal 
It is a process that will occur from time to time. And once your chicken recover, they will resume production. So, I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions about molting, kindly share your thoughts in the comment section below. I like reading the comments. They are encouraging and inspiring. Otherwise, make sure to check out our other videos. And until next time, happy farming.